in action. Please call me by my true name, so I can live in unity with my brothers and sisters. Let me be zen with myself and others. Let my thoughts be positive and remain open-minded. Let me fall in love with myself and the things I do. Call me by my true name. Please call me by my true name, so I can stop the abuse of animals. Animals like us humans have the same natural right to exist, have the right to be free, to live on their own terms as intended by nature. Please call me by my true name. It hurts, it hurts, it hurts. Hurts knowing that my ancestors fought so hard for our freedom, but still my black brothers are being killed. It hurts knowing that even though our country has become so accepting to diversity, black people and other people of color are still being oppressed. What hurts the most though is that we are blamed for our oppression. People believe we want to be in these circumstances, that we want our black brothers to be imprisoned or dead. We are not scared of death, for only in death we will be free. All of this inspires me to take action, to make change. We are not scared of death, for only in death we will be free. What does that mean? I think it means that death has become the norm, that we are getting used to it, so we no longer fear it. Yes, death is a part of life in our golden ages, not when we are full of life and youth. Too many of us are dying too young. Action is helping the voices have a voice. Do you hear my voice? When you don't listen, really listen, you make me, you make us feel voiceless. In the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, Article 13, it states, as a human being, I have the right to cross borders, to go to a different country and return to my own. What about the borders that we what about the borders that we build up every day when we judge one another? We put we put borders around our eyes, our hearts, and our minds just because we don't look like each other. All we ask is that you hear us, see us, for who we are, not for what we look like or what we seem like. I am action, bold and courageous. I am a border crosser. I seek freedom of expression. I seek the cultural life of community and the, and the arts. I am a border crosser. Do you see me? Making sure that I get my all in maintaining, maintaining people's integrity and fighting for those who are oppressed, marginalized, and poisoned. We have held our breath for too long. We have held our breath for too long. We are waiting to exhale a sigh of relief. We are waiting to exhale a sigh of relief. A sigh of letting go. A sigh of letting go. A sigh of hope. A sigh of hope. Now imagine yourself as a painter. 
I stand in the center of your unity and paint what you would like to see. I want you to close your eyes. Breathe in and breathe out. Now imagine yourself as an architect. I stand in the center of your community and build what you would like Build what you would like to see. I want you to close your eyes. Breathe in and breathe out. Now imagine yourself as a singer. Now stand in the center of the community and create the song you would like us to sing together. I want you to close your eyes. Breathe in and breathe out. Now imagine yourself as a dancer. Now stand in the center of the community and reach out. How will we dance together? This universal declaration of human rights inspires me to change, to take action. Each article shares ideas that can change the mindset. I am change. Singing relieves me of stress and brings me to a happy place. It also shows how I'm feeling and what I've been through. For my community, for myself, for the little girl who grew too scared to fully enjoy the evils, alike the joys of the world. For the generations before and after me, this evokes change in me. This evokes action. What part is me to change? James Corhan. When I see people being broke or people doing crazy stuff, I take the action. Can you help? help? What inspires me, Kevin Davis, is when I see people being treated unfairly because of sexual orientation, like when they put the ban on gay marriage. I wanted to vote against the ban, but I was too young. So I asked my mom to help, and she did. Ask for help. Can you help or not? What inspires me to action is being able to help the ones that don't have the power to act. Not everyone has the power or freedom to act. Singing and dancing gives me the strength and confidence that I need to continue to help. It helps me provide insightful ways for people who don't have the voice to act or the chance to act. Singing and dancing. Singing! Dancing! I am action. I am change. When people view my actions, they see how my character speaks strongly. Not in my voice, but through my way of being. Please call me by my true name, Strength, because no matter what obstacles I may face, my resilience never falters. I'm not limited by my obstacles. They are my teachers. Obstacles are challenges that ask me to grow stronger and ask you to grow too. Remember, it was the slave that challenged democracy to live up to his true ideal that all of us are created equal and that all of us are human. Article number four. But no one should be held in slavery or servitude. Slavery trade the forms. It is gay marriage that is gay marriage that challenges us to accept love between humans as human rights. Article 16: Men and women of full age, without limitation due to race, nationality, or religion, have a right to marry. Article 26, everyone has the right to an education. Education shall be free, at least in the elemental and fundamental stages. Education, like air, food, and water, is fundamental to my growth as a full human being. If I can paint my community in the mind of a young African-American woman, what would I paint? It would be peace all around, clean streets and billboards, happy faces and laughter. 
more opportunities for our people, and better education for our youth. No armed weapons, just crying and laughter. No electronics, just time to communicate with each other, time to interact and enjoy each other's company with no regrets. Just memories, a happy place for a big happy community. What are the models that you represent? We paint what you model. Now, if you could all stand up and join us. We'll be closing like we close every Monday when we meet. If you could all put your hands out and repeat what I say. Well, repeat change action. Change action on three. Change action on me. One, two, three. Change action. Change action. Thanks, everyone. Hope you guys liked it. That's um, the world as it could be, a wonderful group that I'm a part of and that we're all a part of, and especially now that you guys are all a part of. We wouldn't be able to do this without you guys. Um, I want to take the time to kind of, in truth, in the, um, what do you call it, the program, because it's not on here, but as I have a very special place in my heart um, for everyone that's on this stage and for everybody who's out here in the audience and everybody who's here at REACH. Um, I want to just take the time to read, or read some that I wrote for the people behind me. Um, the World As It Could Be, a program with youth who at a point took the, world as a, as a, uh, took the world as it as a challenging moment, but as a lesson to greater the world, the worth of it. Meeting weekly since September 8, 2014, they set out on a mission to change the world to where it should be. A playground for children, a stepping stone for explorers, a basketball court, a baseball, soccer field, a place where each child can utilize its resources to have a beautiful, creative output in the world to come. Making a change is hard, but not impossible to obtain. But it's sticking with it and being a part of the change that makes it count. The reason you briefly saw me throughout this wonderful performance performed by the, these wonderful youth and vibrant youth is because this isn't about me. I've been a part of things like this since I was in the seventh grade. And it is, not, it is only my mission to help inspire the youth after me to spark positive change in not only themselves, but their families. I wanted to support and allow the real reasons for such, a great, for such a great program like this to shine. I wanted, to use, I wanted us to take the time to give them another round of applause for the wonderful perform performance that they have given you guys today. So please, let's do that. Because for them, it was about coming up here sharing something big in their hearts with all of you, which isn't easy. But I truly want to take the time to thank Sandy, Ellen, Michael Alexander, Mika, wherever she is, Michael's wife, hi, Fred, Spence, our wonderful film crew, Hillary, to name a few, and everyone else a part of bringing this chance to me, these youth, and the world. I want to thank you all for bringing this opportunity for me to continue to inspire and learn from amazing, unique individuals. With that being said, I hope you take away from this what I did or more, that the world as it could be is the world as it should be, a place where all can feel like it's where we belong. Thank you, and have a wonderful day.